you got a towel because you're finna get wet. What is up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video and I just sold my 1000cc sport bike and picked up this 250cc Honda Helix scooter. If you've been following my channel for a few years, you would have known that back in the day I actually used to own one but could never get it running right and ended up catching on fire so I sold it and haven't had another one since. About six months ago or so, I saw one sitting in front of my neighbor's driveway down the road. And I was like, man, I'd really like to own that one day. I wonder if they'd sell it. And finally, I went and knocked on their door, asked them if they'd sell it. They said yes, they had the title and everything. Went to the bank, got the cash, and drove this baby home. This is a 2004 Honda Helix in the same exact yellow that mine was, except this one is completely assembled. I bought mine completely disassembled and had to figure out how to put it back together. Ended up missing some parts and everything. But this one I don't even have to mess with as far as getting it to run and everything. But it has been sitting outside so there's lots of dirt buildup, leaves everywhere. So I got my trusty power washer and I'm going to clean this thing all up. Before I cut to a montage of me doing that, just this morning I went ahead and repainted my Subaru. The paint is still curing but it looks really really nice right now when i painted it the first time i did not do enough layers of clear coat so when i went to sand i actually sanded through the glitter and it looked really bad so i went back over everything and did thick enough coats and now this paint feels solid and i'll be able to wet sand and polish it to perfection but without further ado let's crank up this power washer spray it down and see how good we can actually get her to look My power washer line literally just bursted. But luckily I just finished washing her all up, all nice and clean. Although she does run and ride pretty nicely, she still needs a little bit of a tune up. I don't know how long the gas has been in the tank. I don't know if the fuel filters are dirty, yada yada. So we're gonna go ahead and pull her in the shop and see what it's looking like underneath this thick seat right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, this bitch kind of dirty, not gonna lie. I need to push it back out and power wash this, but my power washer broke. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better, I just went ahead and insured it so I could get it registered and ride it around town and whatnot. My FZ1, my 2001 FZ1 was like $270 an entire year, which is really cheap. But this scooter, for 12 months of insurance, it is $70. That means my monthly insurance on this Helix is $5.08 a fucking month on top of the like 70 miles per gallon this thing gets. So I'm gonna be saving so much money if I ride this around all the time.
So after I changed the spark plug, air filter, and fuel filter, it was actually running worse. Uh, I had a full tank of gas, so I went ahead and drained it in that last clip. And no, this is not my piss. This is actual fuel. Uh, it was a little dirty before I filled up this bucket. Uh, so all that isn't gas, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with some brand new 93 uh, and see if it runs better. I literally just filled this bitch up. Well, hide it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I need to buy a new lighter. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Take two of this. Got another lighter that won't blow up. But you want to test the gasoline by catching it on fire to see if it can fly. I'm not doing that while you back it up. You're just going to pour a little bit on the floor. And if it ignites, then you know it's good. Oh, shit. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh my god, Fuck. babe! Fuck. Uh, what was he thinking? Hurry up! <laughs> oh shit! And that's why you always keep a fire extinguisher in your shop. Well, we know the fuel in the tank wasn't completely bad now. Uh, I'm still going to fill it up with 93 and see if that helps. So you're probably wondering why I traded a 1,000cc sport bike for this little 250cc scooter that I've only gotten up to like 63 miles an hour in the past few hours I've been riding. But if you saw the, that clip montage, I had way more fun in that 15 minutes of fucking around than I did the entire time I owned that 1000 cc sport bike the main way to have fun on a thousand cc bike is to be going fast taking turns sharp cutting in and out of traffic racing other fast bikes and although that is fun it doesn't really suit me very well and the risk is way higher for you know the adrenaline rush and everything but this although you still can get hurt pretty easily the risk is way lower. I, I dropped this once in that little montage of clips I did and I did not get hurt. The scooter surprisingly didn't even get hurt or anything and that just adds to the point of what I was saying. And if you're watching this uh, recently after I posted it in 2022, the gas prices are ridiculous. It was $12 for me to fill up this like two and a half gallon tank which is ridiculous for this scooter. But that'll save me a lot on gas and I got a little trunk to fit tools and little parts and whatnot when I gotta go to O'Reilly's or Home Depot for something small uh, for this car right here. And if you're wondering what my build plan for this is, uh, I obviously wanna make it purple just like everything else I own. And I would love to put it on some type of air strut or hydraulic or something to slam it down a little bit. Um, and then just have it be a daily rider hot boy scooter like I wanted my last one to be before it inevitably caught on fire and had to sell. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Follow my two Instagrams right here. Like, subscribe, and peace!